Hello, and welcome to the Blender Basics video series. These videos are designed to accompany the chapters found in the Blender Basics tutorial book and not as a replacement. So if you don't have the book, head over to www.cdschools.org slash Blender Basics to download a free copy. This video will focus on chapter two, working with viewports. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is actually start out at the Central Dolphin School District webpage, where you can go to the Blender Basics book and actually open up or download working with viewports and again this book is completely free for you to print and use however you want to working with viewports is actually a very simple chapter as you go down through what we're what I recommend you do is actually read this chapter and look at all the helpful hints and talk about the different viewports um, and we will go through this talking about how to split up your viewports and navigate in 3D space. So what we'll do is start out in Blender and what I've done is I've opened up a uh, kind of a motorcycle project I did a few years ago of a bike that I actually own. So to, I put this on the screen to help us navigate through our views pretty well. And again, you always want to start out in an ortho view. Blender always starts you out in a perspective view. And from the last chapter we talked about the number five key on the number pad actually allowing you to maneuver in 3D space. So seven would give you a top view as you work. Number one would give you a front view. Number three would give you a right side view. Zero puts you into camera view. So you have all of your different navigations that you can use within the viewport. But let's say you want more than one viewport to work with. And Blender actually already starts you out with many different viewports on this. Even this bar going across your screen is a viewport. It's basically just your um, information screen up here. Um, you've got your 3D working viewport right in this area here. So this is your 3D view viewport or window. You also have a timeline down here. Uh, over on the right hand side you actually have an outliner uh, for one viewport and of course your properties menu which you always need one of those. But what if you want more viewports? What if I'd like to split this workspace so that I could see multiple views of this motorcycle at the same time? On every viewport, you'll notice there is a little triangle in the upper right-hand corner. And when you move your cursor over it, you'll get a little plus. And if you hold down your left mouse button and drag, what you're going to do is you're going to split that viewport in half. And I will actually close down this tool shelf here that we don't really need it at the moment. Um, and now I've split this viewport in half. Well, what happens if I want to go back to one viewport again? Well, just grab the triangle that's shared between the two lines. And if I hold down my left mouse button, I can either go left or right to get rid of one of them. So I can split up viewports all day long if I want to. So I'll close this one up. Let's say I want to split this one in half. I'll drag down on that triangle. And let's say I want to split this bottom one in half again. So I want to drag across. Um, you've got a lot of different ways you can separate things. If I drag this one down, if I, if I lock those two lines together, now I can grab the lines between them and they'll actually be locked together. So maybe I want to have a number seven, a top viewport up here. And remember to pan, hold down shift, hold down mouse wheel. Okay, maybe this one I want to be a front view. Maybe this one I want to be, uh, this one in here, a right side view. We'll zoom in and pan a little bit on that one. Maybe I want this view to be a camera view. And this one, I don't know. Maybe I don't even want that one anymore. So I'll go up to the triangle that's on the line between the two viewports and determine which one do I want to keep by holding down the left mouse button. So setting up viewports is really not a difficult process once you do it a few times. So I can actually again kind of divide and, and conquer with this. Now I couldn't join these together right now because it's split in half. So if I wanted to join the top to the bottoms I have to turn the bottom into one viewport port that's the same width as the other one. And I could do that and I could join these two together by grabbing that line. So working with viewports is really a pretty simple concept. Um, and again you always have the tool shelves on the side. Um, and again, you can always click on the little pluses or for the tool shelf, I could hit T on my keyboard to open and close that. So right now I'm hitting the T key to open and close that window. Over here, this one would be N. I kind of think of that as my numeric window where I can see scale and rotation, a lot of different things going on here. Um, and hit T or I can hit the little triangle to close or open it up. And just like this viewport up here that's an outliner, a lot of times I'll turn the outliner into a 3D view window just so I have a nice little camera view to work with in here. So there are a lot of things that you can do. Again, read through the chapter. Um, there's an activity on this one and a little bit of reflection, but this is a strength of the program where you have a lot of different 
viewports that you can work with. There are a lot of different viewport configurations already designed for you right up here. So what I could do is I could go into like a um, an animation viewport window and again there are things that we'll talk about later in here or a material viewport um, this is an older model so some of the viewports that are available aren't showing up with this one um, but again we can work with a lot of different things here if I went back to file new and told it to reload the startup file okay now you'll have more screen configurations in here so uh, and there are a lot of chapters we'll talk about a lot of these different configurations so Good luck, give it a try. Thanks for watching.